My name is Lindsay Rogers and I'm with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission and today we are going to be talking about worms and we're going to be talking about composting and composting bins. So I thought we'd start off today by talking about two different kinds of worms. There are your big night crawlers that you're going to get when you go fishing. You get them at a bait shop. You can also get them at Petco or PetSmart. You don't want to use these for your compost bin. They don't like to live in compost bins and they won't survive very long. Well, the ones you're really going to want to use are the red wigglers. And these are a lot smaller and they kind of have a red color to them. These are the worms you can get them at Petco or PetSmart, but if you have a certificate to send in, these are the ones that you're going to get when you send in your certificate. These guys love being in a composting bin. They're designed exactly for this. They love eating all of your waste material and will help you a lot. Now that we know what kind of worms to use, we are going to talk about our composting bin. There's two different sizes of composting bins. You can go with big or small. Either one will work out well. If you start with one like this, what you're going to want to do is a Rubbermaid that is dark colored as opposed to a clear one because the worms like darkness. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to drill some holes in the bottom. Why do you drill holes in the bottom? Well, you want the water to get out, but you definitely don't want your worms to get out. So we need lots and lots of holes, but lots of small holes, again, so your worms don't get out. Once you have those holes drilled, then you're going to want to drill holes in the lid. So again, we're going to need holes here, and this is more for ventilation than it is for water. If we don't have adequate ventilation, then we're going to have some things rotting or molding in your bin, and we definitely don't want that. If that does happen, just simply remove the mold and take it out and go on. Now that we have the holes drilled in the top, then we're going to get started putting stuff inside. I like to start with about a two inch layer of soil. So just run outside and get some soil and place it in the bottom of your composting bin. And then add some newspaper. Shredded newspaper is a great starter for your composting bin. You can shred it large or you can make it fairly small. Either one works. After that, you're going to need to add some food. So grab some coffee grounds. You can throw the filter and everything in. Worms love coffee grounds. They will also eat um, tea bags, throw the whole tea bag right in there, banana peels, apple cores, leftover lettuce, all of that is great for worms. In fact, any fruits and vegetables are perfect for your composting bin. Generally speaking, worms don't like fatty foods, like cheeses or nuts. They definitely don't like meat either. If you do happen to throw some of these things in there, or your students do, it's no problem. Actually, leave them in there for a few days and it's a good experiment for your students to realize worms won't eat them. After about four or five days, you'll want to remove them and discard of them because they will start to rot and smell. But use them as a lesson in your classroom in the meantime. Now that we have our shredded newspaper and we have our food in there, we need to get it nice and wet. We don't want it soaking wet because that can actually drown the worms. We just want to make sure it's nice and moist. So a squirt bottle works well to make sure that the newspaper is completely saturated, the soil is wet, and all of your food are ready to go. Now that we have it nice and moist, we're going to want to add our worms. A bin this size could easily handle 150, 200 different worms. Now that we have our worms, our food, and our newspaper, we're going to want to put the lid back on. Remember, holes in the lid to keep it well ventilated, but the lid will help it keep it dark and cool in there for your worms. So whether you have a bin this size or this size, when you get it all set up, what you're going to find is some nice shredded material some coffee grounds, and if we dig down deep, we're going to find some really happy red wigglers. That's composting in your classroom. It's fun, it's easy, and it's a great way for your students to learn about worms and composting and decomposition.